it was a very exciting time, and there also comes a time, as you know, in, in anyone's career, that you know, you're ready to go on to your next stage. So now, what do I do, having worked, as I say, for until 2002 in the city, travelling, working in Paris, speaking French, all sorts of things. There came a point where it's like, okay, what's my next stage? Because I don't want to do any more of this travelling, I don't want to do any more appraisals, all the things I didn't want to do, what do, do I want to do? But what I do now is I work with people, experienced businesswomen, as I said, and a few smart men, all around the world. And this is this world that Lucy's introducing you to, where we met. And I work with people all around the world on teleseminars. I actually show up alive. I speak on big stages, and I speak on my stage in my office. If you, I stand up when I deliver a teleseminar. There's a different energy about it, even though I'm in my room and the only audience are my dogs. <laughs> so I will share that with you as a little sparkly gem to throw in there. That works for me. So if it's one of these things you might be thinking about. And what I will tell you is it's all very glitz and glammy. And, and what, what I want to share that I didn't necessarily plan to say is I've given myself permission in the last probably four or five months to have some real fun with what I do now. It's absolutely clear to me that I've been doing what I've been doing all my life. The piece that I gave myself permission to, which is where Lucy and I had some fun the other day, is I have included the sparkle piece because the little tips and the little words and the things I'm going to share with you you drop into conversations, and they're like little embellishments. Now, you know a Christmas, if you don't want to look like a Christmas tree, you don't want to have so much stuff going on yourself, if you talk about it, in, you know, accessorising yourself, you don't want to have so much going on that you look like a Christmas tree. You just use a few embellishments. And these words and phrases are like that. So what I'm going to share with you, i like you to think about them in ways of accessorising your conversations because you can accessorise yourself, and you have to do that too, not to be like the Christmas tree. But if you want to be this person on the stage, whatever your next stage is, it's about how you show up and how you put yourself together and then how you connect with people.